You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Item provided by Blocko for review. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to spend it with me on this video. Now, this is all about Blocko today, and I do want to say thanks to them for sending me four sets. Now, the fourth set is off camera because that's the one I'm going to build. But I asked them to send me a variety of sets so you kind of get a good idea of all the different themes they have. Like this one in front is called Animalia, and you have five different animals to build. It's ages 5 to 10, 220 pieces. Tropical rainforest animals, educational foam building set. Now imagine a flip-flop uh, flip flop sandal. That's the kind of foam... That these are, at least that's what I saw in one of their commercials. All right, tropical rainforest animal. What's the difference between caimans and crocodiles? How do panthers feel about water? How many hours a day do sloths sleep? And it looks like you get these cards, and then here's everything that's in there. Now, it's split up between foam and plastic connectors. That's what holds it all together. And there you see all the different animals in the set. All right, the next set off to the side here is the superhero set ages 6 to 12 300 pieces three model sets so you get to build those three characters they look pretty cool let's flip it around all right a different species of construction toy you simply plug the plastic connectors in the foam pieces and play blocko pieces are modular to enable you to build and shape a world of models follow the instructions or follow your imagination all right and then the other one I asked for specifically was the dinosaurs. So this is the one, one of the ones I really wanted. Let's see. So you get two dinosaurs in the set. It's 200 pieces, ages 6 to 12. And then here, a different species of construction toy. So that kind of repeats what we've learned already. Follow the instructions or follow your imagination. See all these different combinations you can do. So those are three of the many available sets. You can see it down there in the bottom corner. But the one I'm going to build, I will come back now and show you that one. Get it out of the box, and I will build it for you on video. All right, here we go. This is a one-figure set. So that's why I'm building this one, ages 6 to 14, 155 pieces. This is the Combat Dragon. Doesn't that look really cool? Build and play set. And, uh, well, let's check out the back here. All right, so it's 122 pieces of foam, 33 connectors, a total of 155, one instruction booklet. Now, we've read the upper text before, and we know I'm going to use my imagination, but it looks like there's other dragons in the series, just like the other ones. All right, here we go. Let us take this out of the box together. I'm going to go right into at least dismantling everything and getting the pieces out so we can get a feel of it. Okay, so this is one of those flip-up front boxes. All right, so I will need to, almost like a tray, a handy-dandy tray to keep all of my Blocko pieces intact. There we go. Oh, look at that. All right, so there was I'm saying earlier about like the flip-flop material. Okay, looks pretty neat. Okay, and there's thinner sheets, little accent pieces. The instruction booklet. Okay, so we will see how this takes us through the steps. All right, pretty neat. I will get to that, of course. A much bigger piece. Look at that. Now, these are all going to pop out. Ooh, kind of nice how that does that. And then these plastic connectors, there's a couple styles in there. So for me, I'm going to be learning how to blocko build, I guess you would call it. Let's get this out of the bag. Just so we can see. Okay, so there's double connectors, these single white connectors, and then these little black filler pieces. I don't know, maybe those are eyeballs. I have no idea. And let's just pop out a couple pieces. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be following step by step. Okay, so it looks like... This is step one. Let's just see. I gotta isolate pieces. What I might do is pop some out. It looks like the large green, this one right here. Okay. And then you pop out all the little holes. Now that to me in itself 
looks like it's pretty fun. And I guess if you want to be creative, you don't even have to pop them out, right? It's my option. You can leave pieces in there if you want to have a layered effect. But I'm not sure it'll work in this case, but I will take them out. I think I'll actually save all these little foam pieces because who knows what you can use them for. All right. And then a red piece that looks like this one. It reminds me of a big jigsaw puzzle piece. Okay. I'm sure there's little tidbits on the best way to get the foam pieces out. So I will read a little bit before I go much further. And then I will come back. All right. It looks like I have step number one. But I will verify. I will read. I will come back. And then I'll start building. All right. Here we go. A couple things. I have a tool. I noticed that I didn't originally pop that piece out so you take your little tool I found it just like a little skewer that's flat not too sharp and it pokes those little ones out real nice and then there is this size and I didn't notice originally there was this size plus also the white one in the singles like this and then the texture on these is kind of like think of your cell phone that rubbery part got nice grip on it and that's what that's like and then a bowl for storage because they say to keep everything check this out when building your first block of construction toy I recommend you start by following the instructions for the suggested models carefully in order to familiarize yourself with the proper assembly technique very good information warning the foam pieces have a texture side and a smooth side keep this in mind during the assembly process it'll make it easier to locate the pieces you need and also ensure a uniform look in the end do not throw away any discarded foam pieces until you finish building your toy keep those small unused foam pieces you'll be able to use them on other suggested models or your own blocko creations in the future blocko some requires no glue the pieces come together easily and can be reused repeatedly each time you wish to transform your toy into another creature suggested or invented if any pieces should come off while you play simply reassert them and resume playing in a snap okay and there's some email and other information so the texture and non-texture all right, that's important. So when you look at the pieces, textured, non-textured. So if I'm following this and I have this correctly, there are both non-textured facing this way. And then the next piece is a textured piece. It's going to be the textured side facing up. So well, that's that. And then one of these. Now, I haven't decided if I'm just going to pop the pieces out for each step as I go I really haven't really haven't really really decided but it's looks to be textured side up and non textured side down on this and then holding this like this okay this would go in like this at least that's the way I see it I will verify that and when I come back then I'll find a better way to set this up and I should be able to continue on but I wanted to clarify that and then I will come back now and do the next group of steps step three all right bit of confusion here on that step now it really does look like this one is not textured but then when you look at the rest on that piece the texture it's all going up and then it kind of looks like it's textured over there so my guess now is that the picture is a little deceiving I think it needs to go this way and then all the ones on this part, oh, let me get this in correctly. There we go. Are up. And then all the ones on this part are out. Okay, so let's grab the rest of the pieces here. Let's, uh, let's get building here. Enough stopping. Well, I want to make sure I do it right, one, so that we can definitely see. All right, so here's the order on these. These are all a little bit different in size okay and then it says eight of the little triangle pieces one two three four five six or seven and eight six six ooh seven one two three four five six okay oh right here there's some extra ones. Okay. All right. So the rest on this are going up. So all the texture matches. That's why I think this one originally should have been that way. So not the end of the world, I guess. 
Now we always want to try to be as accurate as possible. And we're just having fun. Okay, and then holding it this way, it looks like the texture is out. Meaning this way. It's one of those things, you know. I'm new to the Blocko world, so I have to kind of understand. Okay, so that's like that. Okay, and then these, it looks like the texture is in the front. I wonder if there's a way to ID that better with a T, like T, everywhere the texture is. Little arrow with a T, that would be a big help. Okay, so that looks like the next step. All right, let me move on now to the next step. Okay, now the next step, I had to look at this carefully because I thought originally the way they have the non-textured side out would be this piece because it fits that shape, but it's not. It's this one because the picture up here is not showing the textured side. It's showing the non-textured side because this piece, non-textured, needs to go this way. Does that make any sense? Does that make any sense? I don't know. This is what I found out. So let's pop all this out. Okay. I got my connector set, so I was able to get a little bit done off camera. Now look, I'm going to just pop, pop, pop. And then the smaller little ones, here we go. Ooh, that's kind of neat. Like that. Okay, so then it looks like this is supposed to turn this way. And then this goes this way. And then there's a double here uh, on the top hole. Let's see, the arrow is going to the top hole, yes, okay. And then there's one going here into this, okay. And then three doubles up here, one here, one here. And then one here, okay. And then it looks like this one connects to this one. They just snap in. And it's going to go into this. And I don't know if they need to be turned any particular way. You know, I am learning. And then this is going to go onto this. Okay, and then this looks like it's going to clip over it. I think that's it because another piece will probably going to fit right on top of that. Okay, looks like I have that step set. I think, I hope, oh, I needed that one, see? There's one more that goes here. Okay, time for a little review, come back. At least, well, at least I know I gotta take the next big piece out. Pop, pop, pop. It's quite satisfying, just look at that. I enjoy that part of it, there's something Somewhat therapeutic about it. Whew. I might have to get a bigger bowl. Okay, so it says... Hmm, uh, five. Oh, that isn't the next step. That one's ready. I was going down this way. It's going this way. So it looks like I need all of these pieces. All right, let me isolate those. At least I'm a couple steps in, and then I'll be able to just drop that one right in. So let me grab all these, find out where they're at. I know I can find one of these. Where are you? A single. There it is. And then I'll grab the rest. Well, let me just do some of this now. It looks like a double, like this. Okay. All right, and then a really cool looking shape here. The 
this like this, I'm kind of lining it up like they have it. And then two in the green, this light green. Ooh, this big flamey piece, look at that. You have to admit, that's pretty satisfying as it pulls out of there. Well, whatever machinery they're using to cut this, it's got to be sharp to do that. I can't imagine how many dies they have to do all that. And then this piece here. So I don't need to stop. I just stop because I want, don't want to get too far ahead if I did make a mistake. Okay. And then one pointy. And I'll remove that little piece when I come back. I'll check all that, come back, and then uh, continue on. Okay, I think I'm pretty set. I forgot one of these pointy spikes. And then this one I didn't pop out. Alright, let's just take a look here. So this is going this way and it looks like it's over this one? Mm, no. These two? No. Hmm. Am I holding this the right way? That is the question. Yeah, because it looks like this one goes over like this. Let me start what I know. And this one goes like this with the texture side. All the non-textured sides are up and then it looks like the spikes, the texture, no texture. Then this goes to this. Maybe it's just because I didn't squeeze it or feel like it was squeezing right. And then non-textured this way. Okay, all right. Then it looks like I can go right into this textured piece. Goes, am I missing a connector? Just goes over like this? Maybe. It shows that something's coming out here. Oh, the one, I missed it. See? Okay, so this hole, this one, this one, and the bottom one. Now everything lines up. Ooh, cool. Check that out. That's going to be cool. Let me line this up better. Ooh, see, a handy use for my tool. That lines those all up better. Push that one so it's flat. They're all flat. They're all lined up. Okay. I'm digging that. What do you think? All right, now. Lots of pieces and they're in this specific order. Let me figure this next one out here. It is the dark green and they're all over the place. So there's one large and I'm not sure about texture. It's a, it's a little confusing which way is which with the texture. So this kind of looks like it's if it's not lining up with that this one. And this one here, no, so texture, texture side, so I don't think I have the right one there. I'll tell you what, let me get all the pieces out. I would love a little tea, or no tea. Okay, so in total, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So if this is to lay out correctly, you have one this way, and one's going to end up this way. Then you're going to have one this way, and one this way. Okay. One this way, one this way, one this way, and one this way. Okay, so I don't know exactly which is textured not textured yet let me study this just a little bit it looks like they're going in these square parts i should be able to figure it out pretty quick all right besides these being handy they make nice elbow pads let me tell you it's nice to kind of rest my arm on them and then looking at it i switched these two i had these in the wrong spot now i believe i am in this row they show this one first here, texture going forward, then 
They show this one going up here. Then this one down here. Makes sense now, does I know it all is obvious to the person that thinks it's obvious. I know that. Okay, so that's that. I think that's exactly what that's supposed to be. Let's see what the other side. Six, seven, eight. Okay, so they don't show you putting them on the opposite side, all right? Just so you know. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now all the textures are going forward. How cool is that? All right, so step eight, step nine. I get to make some feet. So it seems I'm trying to grab pieces here. Uh, let me see. So one of those and one of those. Okay, so one of these. And then one of each of the feet. There's two different kinds of feet. The long skinny one. I'll punch out the little pieces in a minute. And when I come back. And then one more of those other shapey ones like this. And then eight times of the little yellows. Ooh, the toenails. I get to cut out his toenails. There's eight of them. Okay, these are a little softer and a little thinner. So you're going to have to be a little more careful with this foam. One. This one would, could possibly rip if you're not careful. Two. Three. Four. Toenails. Five. Six. Seven. It's, a little, it's still satisfying though, let me tell you. Eight. Okay, let's get all this extra stuff out of here. One, two, three. Now look, all those little toenails will pop out. Here we go. We use the pointy side. Like that. Ooh, that push next to it. All right. Okay, knock knock. Oh, there's one more there. One more little one on the back end. It must be like a hind claw. Okay. I'm going to look at this because I want to make sure I'm going the right way. It's the textured side. They don't show you which is the textured side and which is which way here. See what I'm saying? So it looks like there's one tail. Let me study it. I will come back. Makes it easier for me. I know it's a lot of stop and go, but we're going to make sure it's right. Okay, I guess it does help having this a little bit closer to me, so I was able to match up the shape. It really is not that hard. I just tend to be a little overcautious when I'm building. Okay, so that claw goes that way, and then these claws just slip right in. Very cool that he has toenails now there's no texture on these that I noticed so this is a textureless foam so now this pattern this texture is going out and that's out so they're both inward in regards to unfinished now he might need a nail clipper here to get these trimmed down a little poor guy or girl Okay, there we go. So now I need four of these. Two, three, four. Now, interestingly enough, it doesn't show you where all four go. Okay. Hmm. I'm looking now. I see that. I see that. And I see step 10. They say four. And then, huh? Huh? One, two, maybe here, like this. And then one up here, which is not necessarily going to be... Oh, I see what I did wrong. I didn't get to this step. All right, I have to backtrack now. I'm not 
I went from this to this when I should have went to that. Mmm. Jumping the gun. Let me uh get those pieces set. I don't know how I did that. You try to be so careful and then things happen. Let's just get these out. One of those. And then four of these. One, two. See, that's why I stop and look. Three, four. Okay, that's it. All right, okay, so these just go in the front, huh? And they can only go on one way. So it looks like texture up. This one goes here. And then the shorter one, looks like there's two sizes. Let me just verify. Okay, so the bigger one on the bottom and the shorter one on the top with the texture going up. So it's not that one, it's that one. Got it. Okay, and then this crosses in Foam clips in there and clips in there. All right, so all that texture is up. Okay, not bad, not bad. Not the end of the world, not that. Now we're on 10. So it looks like this is going to go in here. I don't know why, maybe for later, they're just kind of getting the step set. But looking at this now, they show the non-texture going out which I'm a little confused about. See, non-texture, out and in. Something's going on there as well. Hmm, I'm gonna go texture out on both legs. And then here again, they don't show you flipping this over and doing this side. Okay, that must be for the front quarters or something. Oh yeah, so the next step. All right, well, I guess I need to continue on here. Since I made a boo-boo. Hey, boo-boo babe. Why don't you get me a picnic basket? Okay, that and that. Okay, so it looks as though, here again, not textured going out. My guess, my initial guess is you'd want this texture showing. Oh wait, oh I see, this one's gonna go. It goes like, no, I had it right. That locks in like that, and then this one goes like this. My guess is you would want the texture up, but maybe not. Maybe they want it to be texture off texture, but this picture shows no texture outside here when we know for sure it's supposed to be textured. So don't get confused there because here it's textured and then here it's not textured, okay? So I'm going somewhat instinct here. 9, 10, 11. Okay, we're almost set. So let me gather this next group of pieces here. Um, uh, 12. Big ones now. All right. It looks like we're getting pretty close to the end anyway. So one of each of these. Eight more toenails. And then his other feet. Doink. There we go. And two of these. And then one of these cool shapes. And eight more toenails. Two. Three. Four. And there's some inside the other pieces. Five. Six. There's got to be one more hidden. Oh, there's another one. Looks like they might give you extra little toenails. And then on this, it looks like this right here. 
And there's one little hole that needs to come out. Okay, let me clean all these up. All right, so we've had a good amount of time together. I haven't stopped. Besides my mix-up. Am I going to hear about that? Well, it just shows that we are humans and we make mistakes. And we can fix them quite easily. Okay. There. Good time to review. Come back and then we're we're getting there. We're pretty close. Okay, so I actually looked at the box cover just to verify and yes, texture out on all of those pieces. So same goes for these legs. I just wanted to, you know, I don't know, I guess I thoroughly try to make sure I'm doing this to the best of my abilities. And then I forgot one of these, so I was able to pull that out. And that looks like texture for sure going out. Check that out. He looks like he is ready to grab and tear at anything he needs to tear at, I guess. All right, so that is foot number one. And then here is foot number two. I don't think there's any relationship to this or this. I don't know if it really matters. I don't see it mattering, but maybe there's something I'll see later. I don't know. Texture out. Oh, I missed a toenail. Out here. Okay. Two more of these. All right. And then let's see. It's going to go up like this. And then. They show hmm, these arrows pointing up way high to up here, but the legs down here. Hmm. Look at what I'm seeing here. These going way up here when I think they need to be here because there's nothing to hold these in. So I think I need to put these here. Like that, and then going out would be this one. Yeah, and then out going this one. Okay, I think that's the way it's supposed to be. And then these turn so you can't. Ooh, I lost a toenail. Ouch, that's gonna hurt. Okay, so I think with a little nudging, you'll get the get everything in the right position. But at least he's in a stance now. Okay, pretty cool. I think I got that the way it should be. And I'm not sure why these arrows go up high. Hmm, one of those questions. All right, so this looks like something goes through here in the dark green. It looks to be something that pulls apart. And it's not this. It's not this. It's this. Now it looks like texture is up. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Texture is up and it goes through here and opens up and pushes through. Okay. Well, look at that. Now we get these buggy eyeballs here. 11, I mean 12, 13, 14, 15. Ooh, this looks cool. Now this comes out and then all those little extra pieces come out. Zoop. Here, I'll do this. This way you can see them all as I Pull them from the other side. Oop, that one, look at that. So that's easy now. No idea how long this video is going to take, but it's safe to say I'm having fun. 
hopefully you are too at least watching so two of those two of those and one of these this down here and look it's pretty neat the way they show this here the twisty eyeball it's like so you're taking this pointy piece putting the eye on okay uh oh uh oh he's looking at you now and then sticking them in this hole okay and you kinda got I guess they want you to just wiggle it in just a little alright ooh it's like a robot eye okay and that's 15 16 I need his tongue it sounds kinda weird but I need his tongue Where's your tongue, my friend? Here is your tongue. Ooh, careful here. This one you do have to be careful with. Okay. And then, uh, it's this weird little triangle or this, ah, one. And then the flat tongue base, it's this one. Yeah, there's three slots in it, probably going to be the three that I need to put in there. So the tongue. Goes here. And then, this is next to the tongue, but I'm having a hard time seeing. It looks like it curves inward. And this one's going to go here, it looks like. I wonder if there's like an easier way to put these softer foam pieces in. They go in. Oh yeah, look at that. Mmm. And now I need his eye piece. Okay. This is cool, man. Cool. That goes there. And then this whole piece. Ooh, look at that. That makes him look fierce now. Is he fierce? Look at that. Okay. Now, it looks like the bridge of his nose or something going on here. Okay, so I'm going to keep going. So this weird looking piece. Where are you, weird looking piece? Here. Okay. And then in the dark green, I need this piece, which is this one. and then two of these little like mustache tees is there one or two one it's right in here okay and then one which looks like a cross doesn't it okay almost like a bell cross kind of thing all right so one four pieces in total all right so this goes into this so it looks like the texture has to go this way oh wait this first I'm going to put the texture forward, then this, and then this goes like this. And then this is his nose. Get over here, head. Ah, look at that. His nose and his mouth. That is really cool. Now that clips into there. All right. There's my little foam head. Oh, I can make a puppet. Ooh, yeah, it's a, look at that. You can almost make it into a puppet. Like if I puppet my thumb. Oh, I am now the dragon. I shall now take a look at the instructions and see what I have done wrong. I mean, right. 
what LPS Dave has done wrong. All right, next one, 20, so I need the flat sheet. It's these. Really impressed with the die cuts on these, the machinery. Must be well maintained to do this so that the cuts always come through so perfectly. Okay. So turning this this way, it looks like this starts at the top. One, two, three. Okay, see what I'm saying about trying to press this in? This I could see being a little challenge. I would probably get a tool to help navigate this a little bit better. Let me see if I can just... It does help a little. All right, look at that. All right, step 20. Oh man, there's more steps. Oh, the head placement. Let's do the head. No more puppets, sorry buddy. And then this goes on to this. Wow. That is really cool. Okay, this is a good time for me to stop and think before I get the wings on in the last few steps, but that's what we're faced with. Pretty exciting, I think, and a cool project so far. So let's take a deep breath. I'll be right back. All right, now the last few times I was actually grabbing the next group of pieces, so I figure at this point, I've done the entire thing on video, so I am just going to stick with you. Hopefully you're sticking with me. I don't know how many people are even left. YouTube will tell me, you know, how the video plays out and how many people drop off, when they drop off, and stop watching. So I know these long videos are not always the best thing, but for me, it's very therapeutic in a way, isn't it? I know a lot of people say, Oh, I watch your videos, and I can relax, and I can just not think about things, and they put me to sleep. Oh, that's a nice thought. Sleeping, for some people, is really difficult. Okay. So four of these... And it looks like, so the texture is going this way on this one. So this is going to go on this side. You see what I'm seeing? And then the texture is this way, this is this way, and the texture is this way. And then, it actually worked good to have this little tool. You can kind of center those holes so you get that nice centered look at the end and it looks like one's gonna go here okay and then repeat this one this way now I was looking at the wings and I gotta tell you his wings are pretty intense there's a lot of pieces that are gonna have to be pulled through I will show you they are big And they have little arrow-like ends on them, these pieces. And this one actually looks like it breaks here and then wraps around something. Wow, look at that. I have to say, if you like to build things and you're looking for something that gives you a little challenge, 
and offers a new technique in building, you know, from what you're used to, these sets will do it. And I put the camera down a little bit so that you can kind of check them out. All right, I need to look at this here now. So this one, okay, so I need two more pieces that I didn't pull. Okay, so this one is done. Woo-hoo-wee! This one is done. Look at that. How cool is that? Okay, so let's see. This textured one is this one, which goes on this side, and it requires this on here. And then the wing, let's see, you've got... It looks like... Well, let's take this one, because this one is on this side, and then this wing. It looks like they're kind of universal. You can go either wing. But they go three down there. And then this one loops through there. And like I said, they have arrows. So you can pull them through, it looks like. Well, that's not too bad. Actually, that's easier. It's a bigger piece than those other ones. Okay. Cool. And this one's going to go this way now, around here. So if you like long videos, I need your help. I need you to watch the video. Support any way you can. Watch as long as you can. And you know what helps too? If you come back and watch a video, that counts as two complete watches, not the same person. So you're allowed to do that. You're allowed to, a lot of people skip videos, come back, rewatch sections. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Okay. All right, so this is this side. And I'm guessing it's this hole here. Okay, and then this is going to be this way, and this hole here. Okay, and these can turn, so you have some flexibility there. Wickedly cool. All right. I'm happy about that. Now look at this. There's layers pulled out and layers put in. Hmm. Let's just see. This is a cool shield. It kind of reminds me of like a Ferrari shield or something. I know it's not that shield. Okay. And I notice these extra spikes too, so I'm gonna see. I don't think I oh. Oh, I skipped a step. Oh, man, I'm just so excited. This is next. <laughs> Then a soikel, or an oval, an oval, and then what looks to be like a blade. Okay, so texture this way, texture up. This goes this way. This is going to go into here, and this is going to go into here. Got it? And it's going to be in this section. I'm not sure where it is. Oh, here. Look. It's a spot in his leg for it. Okay. It actually, the picture in the book looks like a different flame. Oh, that's his tongue. Okay, forget about that. Scratch that. Okay, so now we need the cross. This little cross piece. Okay, we need this. Okay, we need to drag and take it out of the center. Wow, look at that. That's a cool piece to keep. I mean, I just can't imagine the system that they use to cut this. I'm going to punch it out this way. No, I guess not.
Like this very detail cut. That's absolutely amazing. I'm fascinated by this process. I wonder if they give you factory tours. This is tricky here because this needs to stay. And it looks like wow, really intense. Looks like the head is stuck in there. There we go. I just don't know how much tolerance I have for ripping things, you know? That's incredible. Now I gotta get the red one out. I gotta get this into this. Fragile, handle with care. Okay, now I gotta get the red dragon into that. They're right, it is fragile. Try to poke his toenails through. Are you still there? Anybody still there? So there is some pieces that are not 100% broken. I mean, I can't imagine. Look how it's so tiny, the tongue area that's cut out there. It's absolutely amazing. All right, I'm just gonna have to get a little more aggressive here to find those points. Gotta rip that tongue section out. Okay, there we go. Wow. Trying to conserve every little scrap piece. Oh, I need to get this out. Ah, okay. Whew. And then it looks like his eyeball. Did I pop out his eyeball somewhere? I don't remember. Wow, look at that. Okay, this has been the hardest step, I think, for the whole build.
Here, let's do this. Let's put this in first so we got some flexibility here. There we go. Well, now, I think I need to find his eyeball somewhere. I don't remember popping out his eyeball. Do you remember me popping that out? I'll have to figure that out. Oh, there it is. There's his eyeball. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, I'm going to have to get this eyeball popped in there. Come on, eyeball. Twist and turn. There, eyeball is in. Woo! That was a challenge. All right, and the way they make this look now is that the non-textured side is this way. And then the shield goes this way. We don't want to hurt our design. And this goes into leg number two, like this. And that's it. And this is definitely deserved what they have at the end here. A big super duper. Wow. Oh. That was an interesting, challenging. Like there's two extra spikes. One, two. Maybe I could figure out where I missed those if I did. And then here's all this, and here's what's left over here. Put all my little foam away, and then I'm going to come back now, move everything out of the way, and just check it out. I'll be right back. And it gives me a chance to kind of mentally think a little. All right, here we go. That was a fun build for me. I enjoyed it. It was definitely had a few challenge points, but overall, not too bad, easy to do. Now I added all those extra pieces. It's kind of like his debris field after he just destroyed some stuff. I thought that would be cool. And then, uh, well, let's see. Fun things, you can move the wings and change the position. You could also change the end position if you want to turn the wing up or turn the wing down. You can at the ends. His head goes up and down so you can make movements there. And then his tail the same. His legs will turn. And then, now remember the textured and untextured sides. You can kind of see texture and then texture all in the front. You're looking at it here. Well, let me show you. As you're looking at it now, you can see all the texture. Ooh, that's a cool shot. Look at that. As he's flying in. Texture, texture, all along here. Textured. So it makes sense now to really follow that. And then this is probably being the hardest thing to accomplish in the build, but still fun. Here, let me do one more change here. If we go way down, like we're looking right up at him, like he's flying in. Like this, as he makes those dragon sounds. Look at that. You know, it might be neat. Here, let me do this. I'll show you something. Let me try something here. I'll be right back all right check that out i thought it'd be fun to make some lighting changes just to see it in a different light you know it's always good to see situations in life in a different light now we're seeing the dragon that i created in a different light this kind of is my black lights going on gives you a really cool look at it let me zoom in just a little so you can see them that's pretty neat. Now, I have some other lights. I thought it'd be fun to kind of show you what his eyes would look like if they're glowing red a little bit. There, now. He's got that red look to his eyes. And then I have another light, a green light here. Look in the background. Watch if I do this and then bring change the level down a little bit. And you'll see if I 
play with the lighting on them. Make some shadows in the back. Watch this. Can you imagine the sound effects? As he's flying through the air. All right, there you go. I had a lot of fun building this. Hope you had fun watching the video and learning about it. And as always, thanks for supporting Lucky Penny Shop. I really appreciate it. Look at that description. I'll have more information about Blocko. And don't forget, they have all kinds of sets to build. And thanks for watching, everybody. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.